Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to calculate, grab the first letter of each word in a cell in Excel. Now, here's why I wanted to do this is because I'm trying to memorize some scripture. So Ephesians 1 is one of the chapters I'm trying to memorize. And so one thing I can do is just, you know, read it certainly, but I could get the first letter. So Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, P-A-A-O-C-J, and that way I have a mnemonic device to try to remember uh, what the verse says. You can do it the same thing if you're trying to memorize a poem or whatever. So let me show you what I have found in Excel. And I haven't seen a video like this before. All the videos like this are uh, use Visual Basic or they use long, complicated formulas. It really um, kind of defeats the purpose of trying to get something quickly. So let me show you what we're going to do on this one. I need uh, three different functions. The first one I'm going to use is called text split. So I want to take this and split this into a bunch of different uh, cells. So this is going to be text split. So what I need is text split. And so I want the text to be the very first chapter, of, um, very first verse in chapter 1, Ephesians 1.1. 1, 1. And so I want to create several columns. So my column delimiter is anytime I see a space. So I'm going to put a space in with double quotes. And I don't need anything else here. I don't need to create rows, which is, you know, one, two, three. I want to create columns, which is ABC. And I don't need a match mode or anything like that. So let's do it this way. So here we have a text split. So it's going to put a each word in a single column. So I've got this is in column B, column C. So this is a text array, an array function that spills into as many cells as we need going to the right. Now I could copy that down. That would do it for every um, verse. But some verses are shorter than others, and so it would just be exactly what we need for each of the, the um, verses. So now I want to do left. I want to use the function where I just want I just want the first letter of each word. So left and my text is going to be the text split comma one. So now if I enter then it changed Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus to P capital P a, A, O, capital C, and capital J for Christ Jesus. Okay, so now we have it. Now we just have to put it all back together again, and we're going to use a function called text join. So text join. So it starts with parentheses. Now, I want to put a space between Paul and an apostle, P space A space A, so I need to put in double quotes, space, double quotes, comma, then all my, uh, I'm going to ignore empty cells. So I'm going to put true, comma, then left, you're going to see left and the text split are going to be, and you see how it all works out. We have um, all the spaces and everything. So all that's my text. And so all I need to do is close the parentheses, close the parentheses, and I have Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the uh, faithful saints, to the saints in Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus. So that's the way you memorize based on that um, verse right there. So that we can do that and we copy it down. And so now we have a mnemonic device. We got the first letter of each of the, the words in that cell. Now we can do the same thing. I'm going to copy and edit a little bit. I'm going to copy right here and put it right here next to the uh, Rudyard Kipling. It's not going to work. So what we need to do is go back and do the text split. I want to point to here. And let's see if this works. I think it is. If you can keep your head when all about you and we can just copy this all the way down. This is the easiest way to do a first letter of each word in a cell. Do it on Excel. And then you can take this and print this out. If you want this on a different um, location where you can just print it out, you can copy. So copy and then paste. 
special, right click, paste special, and values. And that way you have this just as if you entered this without the formulas. 